Hey guys, thanks for joining us back out here at the Range Report. And today we have a little bit of a, an oddball gun, well maybe one that you guys don't know about or haven't seen very much of in years, but it has been around a long, long time. And that's this, the Browning SA-22. This is a 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle that's actually a takedown rifle. The entire front comes off from the back. Now this one, slightly modified since, uh, since it was gotten, the front adjustable sights have been removed, and this nice little uh, sight rail has been put on there with this nice little browning optic that was put on here. These were uh, made originally in 1914. It was designed by John Moses Browning himself. And for a while, these were pretty much the uh, one of the most popular 22 rifles that were out there. And what makes this rifle a little bit different is that this is a stock loading 22. As you can see right here, you have all your rounds go into the stock. Now you have a, you have your rod back here that you twist and you pull out, and this is your spring rod. You take this out and you clear it. You drop your 10 rounds in, slide this down, and you lock it into position. You charge it underneath. It does have a cross bolt safety on there and you're good to go. And rather than it ejecting from the left or the right or the top, this actually ejects all the rounds out of the bottom. Now this gun was originally manufactured, uh, like I said, in, in 1914. The later models came out of Japan. Uh, the earlier models, which this happens to be, these were all made in Belgium. Now the Belgium models tend to have a little bit more of a premium on them. Uh, they're very nicely engraved. See if you can pick these up, both sides. That's it, it's a very, very pretty, pretty gun. Now to take these down, you have to drop your bolt back. You have this tiny little pin right here on the bottom of the foregrip that you have to push into the downward position. The little, I think this is made for kids' fingers, not mine, but once you get that out, you twist the barrel, and there you go. Perfect rifle to stick in a, in a backpack, take on a camping trip, little fishing ex expedition. It's a really, really nice little package. Now to put it back together, you have to pull the bolt back, rotate this into position, push the bolt forward, and then lock it in. And once that's locked in, it's nice and tight. You wouldn't know that this is a takedown rifle by the feel of it. It's how nice and tight it is. But uh, she holds 10 in the tube, and today we're just going to throw a couple of shots through it, have a little bit of fun. And uh, uh, truth be told, we've already fired this rifle, and it's, it really is a lot of fun. And if you guys have the opportunity to grab yourself one of these things, it's a great rifle. You can't go wrong with it. It's a lot of fun. The furniture on these, especially the Belgian models, is absolutely beautiful walnut. They're exquisite rifles, and they got this really, really nice sheen, a deep, dark bluing to them. The sight, uh, the scope on this thing, eh, uh, maybe a little much for this rifle, but uh, hey, it, it gets the job done. So if uh, you got a junior hunter in the midst, or you just want something to go out there plinking with, check yourself out the Browning SA-22. We're going to take a few shots with it now. Is that just to give you guys an idea of the loading procedure, once you have your, your rod all the way out, your spring rod out, you have the little hole right here. You're just going to drop your rounds right in there. We already have a few loaded up, so I'm just putting a couple in here so you can see what it's like. And once your 10 rounds are in, take your spring rod, you put it in. There's a little keyway. You catch the keyway, give it a half a turn to the vertical. And you're good to go. All right, with 10 rounds loaded and our target about 25 feet behind, we're going to take our uh, Browning SA-22, lay a few shots down, and uh, see if you can't pick up where the rounds eject out of this. I'll tell you, that's a, that really is a fun little rifle. I actually think I like this better than my uh, my 1022. 
It's a little bit lighter, feels better in hand, feels really good. The trigger is nice and crisp. We're going to load another 10 rounds, take a few more shots. All right, so we got another 10 rounds loaded up, and the one thing that I noticed about it when I was firing is how I was holding it. I was holding it so close over here that when the rounds were coming out, they were actually dumping into my hand, which uh, may be convenient if you try to prevent yourself from sweeping up the brass, but uh, if you forget to turn your hand, they get a little hot. So we're going to run another 10 rounds. I'm going to hold my hand out a little further this time and uh, see what it does. Got to tell you, that really is crisp, and it's nice and smooth. Yeah, so if you guys, uh, if you guys can get your hands on one of these things, you can pay a decent price for it. I think you guys would be pretty impressed with how how smooth the action is and how well this rifle performs. So, this is Frank from the Range Report. You guys be safe. Shoot straight.